Welcome back to the course. We got all the extra bones needed. Now it's time to assign these bones to separate bones layer. So we can have custom UI. Scroll down to bone collection UI. You will see the same bone layers as we have here. You may be wondering where all these extra bones are. If you look at to this bone layers, you can see small dot, which means the selected bones are placed in that layer. But this layer is for the face bones, which we deleted to keep things simple. So we can rename these first three layer for the hair. As I mentioned, there will be different type of controllers generated. So we can rename accordingly. In Rigify, there are three main controllers. One for main controller. And primary which is like FK controller. Then the secondary and twist controller. Here, we will try to keep these layers and the UI. In the same way, that is in the viewport. Like top to bottom. On top we have hair bone. Then the collar bones, torso, and so on. Let's add new layer for the collar bone. Move it above the torso layer. Select the collar bones and assign to new layer. But you can see, it's also in the top layer, cause we can see the dots. While collar bones are selected, select hair layer then click remove. Now, the dot is gone from hair layer, which mean it is no longer in that layer. We can make two empty layers for the collars, just like the hair primary and secondary layer. Let's make new bone layer for these extra pieces. We can place both the layers and UI above the legs. Rename the layer. While these extra bones are selected, assign them to this new layer. Also remove them from this top layer. You can see the small dots on the layer, where these bones are assigned to. Add two empty layers. This is important to create UI. Once we generate the rig, we will manually assign the controllers to these empty layers. I didn't find a way to automatically assign those different controllers to these layers but we can still assign them later. For now we will keep it empty to generate the UI. We need two layers for these accessory. For the glasses we can keep it above the collar layer. For these single bones we don't need extra layers. Click plus icon to add new layer. Rename the layer. Assign this bone to this new layer. And remove from top layer. We need one more layer for these bones. And that can go below the arms layer.
Now, the layer parts is done. Scroll down for the UI option. We will keep the default UI as it is. And add extra UI for all the extra layers we have created. Here, you can see similar bone layers as above. With some extra option. And that's for the color of the bone. We can assign different color for different layers. But, when I tried for extra layers we added, it didn't work for some reason. While it worked for default layers. But it not a big deal. Cause we can assign the color after we generate the rig. For now, select the hair layer. I guess we already have the UI for this. Cause those were default layers for the face. Select this glasses layer. We can place this the hair UI. You can see some options here. The plus icon will add layer. Basically, to create some space between these UI. And minus icon will do the opposite. And the arrow icon. That will add the UI based on the selected bone layer. Click on this arrow, we get this new UI button. For the glasses, cause glasses layer is selected. Let's undo that, cause we need some space. Now click on plus icon to add space. Leave this layer as it is. Then click arrow on this layer to place the new UI button. You can see the name on the UI button. To know which layer was selected. If you have doubts. You can go up and select the bone layer. To make sure you selected the right layer. Then create the UI again. Here, indeed the glasses layer was selected. Let's repeat the process again. Next for the collar we can place them below the glasses. So create space with plus icon, select the bone layer. Then click arrow to place the UI. We got two more layers for this. Do the same process. We don't need space for this. Also we can place two layers into single row. Just like we have for the hair, which was default UI. To make a similar UI, simply click the arrow icon on the same UI row. Do not forget to select the bone layer that you want to place in the same row. Now give some space with plus icon. That is how we add custom UI in Rigify Rig. Now do the same for accessory and the extra piece we have. The accessory will have just one UI button, while the extra piece will have three. For main controller, primary and secondary controllers. Make sure to select the right layer while creating UI button. Also give some space between different control parts, so the UI looks clean and readable. By the way, this UI will be available only after the rig is generated. I think we are done with bone layers and the UI things. If you look at to these default bone layers, we have these color set assigned to them, which I already mentioned, for some reason it doesn't work on custom layers. So we will leave it as it is. Got 
keyframe on scale. Cause we had auto key turned on. So just remove the keyframe. Also we have to apply the scale. Press Ctrl plus A and scale or you can just go with all transforms. That will set our object's location, rotation to zero, and scale to the one. This is important before we generate the rig, or else the rig will be generated based on original guide, which we scale down. Let's end this part here. In the next one we will generate the rig. Then assign custom bones to the empty layer we created. And more, so see you in the next one.